Hello. Welcome to something new. So we're just going to uh, hang out tonight. Do some coloring. Chatting. And once we get some people in here, I got some uh, some polls I want to do, but uh, yeah. Let's just uh, go for it. So how are you all doing tonight? My day is all right. Today was the uh, last day of my uh, 10 days of quarantine. There we go. Let's focus that in a little bit. There we are. So I go back to work on Monday. So I figured I'd uh, hang out tonight. We'll just uh, do some coloring and chatting and seeing how you all are doing. I'm just going to sit here and relax and put some color on a paper and see how you guys are doing. Because I know life is stressful right now. Things can be hard and sometimes just sitting down and listening to some music and coloring can be pretty fucking relaxing. I uh, found all my uh, markers and coloring books and I figured, fuck it, let's, uh, let's color tonight. Normally we're, uh, we're playing games and doing all that, but let's do something a little different. So I settled on this dolphin for a couple of reasons. Uh, a good friend of mine absolutely loves dolphins and when I'm finished with this I'm going to give this to her. And uh, I quite enjoy the ocean and spending time out with the waves. I haven't been to the beach in a while though. So that's been unfortunate, but uh, life is what it is, and it's been hard to uh, it's been hard to do the fun things that we've used to doing all the time. So we find other ways to do those things that we enjoy. I find myself. Uh, using VR. I have a really cool virtual reality meditation app that I use to uh, to go to the beach. So I get my time with the waves. Ocean waves, so the way the water just moves around and the sound of the crashing waves is so relaxing. Whenever I'm there at the ocean, I feel like, you know, something's washing away all the stress of life, all the bullshit of work. 
it washes away while you're uh, sitting there by the ocean. If you're doing it right. If you sit there and listen, live in the moment. Don't worry about uh, what's coming up. Don't worry about, you know, anything that's in the future. I try not to stress things in the past. Just sit there and enjoy the waves. I know that's, you know, kind of rough, but I live in California and the ocean's only like an hour and a half away from me. So I'm able to visit the, the waves. Don't know how other people in parts of the States that live so far inland survive without being able to visit the ocean from time to time. So when I finally do retire or get Twitch rich, that's not going to happen. One of my things that I've been saying is I want to retire within an hour of the ocean. Wherever that happens to be. Now I know. There's a lot of places where an hour. Is a big difference in distance. Than where I live now. Because sometimes it takes me. More than an hour. To go 20 miles. And those days really fucking suck. But I am where I am. There's not a hell of a lot I can do about it. Other than just to Hello. So the thought I was in the middle of is, you know, I am where I am. There's not a whole lot I can do to change it other than, you know, selling the house, changing jobs, packing up this house, moving. I don't fucking want to do any of that bullshit. I like where I am, even though it's really fucking expensive. I will survive. Well, welcome, Pack. Well, this is the new thing. I'm coloring. This is my thing. So be out, be out, be safe. I'm just going to sit here and color and wax philosophical for a while and and whatnot. Wow, oh, thought I heard some loud crashing sounds. Could have come from outside with the dogs. I only have two of the four dogs with me right now. Here, uh, I'm going to shrink this one down some. Oh, 
Oh, you can see the picture a little bit better. There we go. Now I know. That this edge right here is probably irritating the shit out of you. But I can't uh, color all that in because there's the tear line right there. And the binding gets in the way. So I'll color it as best I can. But hey, it's coming through and we're getting the water done. See, it comes all the way down to there. I want to get some done to the, to the water before we uh, come up here to the dolphin. I'm going to end up doing a variety of blues down here in the water. Not sure uh, how this is going to turn out. I have no real plan for it. I have several dozen colors and uh, I don't know how many of them I'm going to use. But I wanted to do something different because I'm always playing video games and and whatnot. So I figured, fuck it, let's uh, let's break out the other camera. Let's uh, let's do some coloring. How many people will stop by today? I don't know. But I appreciate every single one of you that clicked on my stream. And if you only stay for a moment, I'm not exactly what you were hoping for, but here we are. I am hoping to do this intermittently throughout the week. Because this is fun. This is relaxing. This is something different. And those of you that uh, have been in my stream before, you know that chaos uh, chaos is pretty much how I live. My world is chaos. Uh, do do. Do, do, do. Let's go here. Yeah, this is an AMA, so if you guys have any questions, throw them in chat. I'll do my best to answer them. I know, uh, Sometimes it can be hard to come into a chat and just sit and relax. I'm one of those people that if I'm watching somebody, I have to be, you know, clickety-clack. 
Got to be talking. All right, let's see. Yeah, it doesn't. But I can do this one here because it does not connect with the other one. I want to try and do whatever color I'm going to work with. I want to do it all the way through. Because if I put this color away, I may not remember which one it is when I come back to do this some more. So when I'm done with it, it's done. I think that's coming along quite nice. That looks pretty good. Let's try and keep it as upright for you as possible. So today was the uh, last day of my quarantine period for work. So I go back to work on Monday. I miss my work, kids. I work at a school. And our classrooms got closed because we work with the very medically fragile and uh, for the safety of the students and the other staff, it was just uh, best to protect them. But it'll be nice to be back in class. Back teaching the kids. I think one of my favorite things about coloring is, is it doesn't matter what it looks like. It's yours. You're doing it however you wish. Whatever tickles your fancy at the moment. Now these blue swirls, they speak to me. And right now they're just uh, telling me that it's okay. Just relax. Things can wait. Don't really need to rush. And I'm gonna leave that one for another color.
But I do hope everyone that's uh, lurking or, you know, passing through has has had an okay day. I'm not going to say a wonderful day because that can be difficult. But I do hope you got the day you deserve, be that good or bad. As we all should get the days we deserve. Some of us deserve uh, easier days than others. Some of us deserve harder days. I have been through my fair share of hard days. I really look forward to having the good days, the easy days. The days where you don't have to think much, you just have things work out. I've had many, many days that go the other way. Days that go from sitting and hanging out with your friends to sitting in an emergency room because your spouse is extremely sick. I'll tell you right now, those days suck the most. But we endure. We make it through. Some days are easier than others. But here we are. We're still pushing through, one day at a time. Shit, one, some days, one hour at a time, one minute at a time, one second at a time. We're still pushing through. So if you clicked on the stream and you're lurking in there, I appreciate you being here. Listen to me ramble. While I color my my picture. Because you could have just as easily clicked off. Gone to watch somebody else do some other random shit. I'm going to have to change colors. The tip of this marker is drying out. It's 
getting real hard to get the color out. So I have a question for you if you're still sitting here. What drives you? What pushes you on? What gets you up in the morning? My house, my family, making sure that I have food on the table. That's what pushes me through. This last few years have been pretty fucked up for everybody. And people have, uh, some people I've known have uh, not made it through. But we're still here. And my favorite saying is a very dangerous statement. It is what it is. To me, that is, that is my go-to because I view that there's nothing. If it comes down to it is what it is, that means that there's nothing I can do to change the situation. And I've accepted the fact that things are fucked. And we have to just deal with the shit we're, we're dealt and we move on. Now, granted, I'm really fucking tired of is it is what it is. I'd rather have that life of the blissfully unaware The everything just falls in your lap. But that's not my life. That's never been my life. My life is, it is what it is. Oh. <sighs> This is, uh, right now is kind of like my therapy, my chance to just talk, to ramble. Is anybody out there listening? Fuck all, I don't know. My thing says that there's one viewer and it, uh, there's names in chat. But is anybody really listening? Fuck all, I don't know. I'm just one man sitting here coloring some fucking waves. Listening to what should be some DMCA free music. And rambling on and on about random shit, whatever crosses my mind. I hate to do the cliche of, you know, talking about the weather, but the fucking wind today here was insane. I have some loose recycling on the side of my house, and it was getting blown all over the fucking place. 
So part of my shit I need to do tomorrow is cleaning all that up. I think this is turning out quite nice. The purple is offsetting the blue. And that's funny because I expected this to be more of a baby blue color because that's what the caps were. I did not expect it to turn purple. That's the color. I did not expect it to be purple. Uh, my dogs are outside being all noisy. But they'll be fine. Let's see, we're going on the inside of the blue. For what chaos it is, I'm trying to keep the pattern similar. Can I guarantee that it'll stay that way all the way through? Fuck no. Can I try at least? Yeah. I can try. But it doesn't really mean a whole lot of anything. coming along quite nice. I like the way the colors are playing off of each other. The purple is just a little lighter than that blue. Now, these waves, for them to be this vigorous, yeah, the dolphin pushed through some of them there, but for them to be this aggressive, there needs to be a boat, a storm, something has kicked up this, uh, this water I end up having to change colors again let the ink refill the tip on this one.
I know we're not going to get very far tonight. Mostly because, you know, this picture is very intricate and also because I don't know how long I'll be able to uh, stream and just ride a bull. But I'll be here as long as I can manage. This is something I'd like to do. I like to try and maybe one day a week just do a random coloring stream. Who knows how much it'll, you know, it'll continue, but, uh, let me try. I have a mountain of coloring books. I have many, many markers. And I can ramble on just about any fucking thing. Like the thought of a coloring book is bizarre. If you really come down to it, you pay extra for a book of pictures with no color in it. And then you were expected to spend your time and energy to color between the lines. Now in that, you are afforded the ability to make the pictures whatever crosses your mind. Did I expect the colors to be what they are? No. I knew I wanted to do some blues down in the water because, you know, when you think of water, you think blue. But in reality, if you're drinking blue water, there's a fucking problem. Because your water should be crystal clear. If your water's blue, there's some shit in your water. Speaking of water. those away let's see what uh... let's get a color that's gonna stand out a little bit oh let's use some green Put some contrast against these uh, blues and purples. Let's use a nice dark, dark green. Yeah, that really stands out. It almost looks black on camera, but it is 
quite green. Headset it keeps getting caught on my table leg, which you know is fine, other than the fact that uh, the cord is sitting in my lap and it's uh, makes it difficult to twist. What do you guys think? Look good? I agree, I like it too. The darkness of the green really makes that blue and purple really stand out. You can see some of the, you know, you can see some some of the green a little bit better now. So we're doing green against the purple. The purple has a good contrast against the blue and the green. Yeah, that looks good there. You have spots like here where it's going to be against both the blue and the purple. I think the next color is going to have to be something very light, something uh, a little spot and needs the purple the purple there do our green in here I mean, it's this blue should be right here. Just like that.
hope you guys are enjoying your relaxing evening. Or you're doing your damnedest to relax. Or if you happen to be at work, you're uh, being able to tune out for a few minutes while you watch me uh, murder some coloring. I know how frustrating life is. Really do. And I'm right there with you all. Would really enjoy some uh, some easy street. I don't think that's what's in the cards for me. No. Because it is what it is. And we're here. On a Friday night, coloring a picture. They could always be worse. It could 100% be a hell of a lot worse. Well, anyway, I hope you enjoy your time on this uh, channel and you've uh, taken a few moments to uh, look around and appreciate what you have and where you are because shit could be so much worse. I'm appreciative of where I am in the in the world right now, where I am in my life. I have a small group of friends that I could call on almost any time. I have people that have been putting up with my shit for too many years. investments is going to be one of those desks that you can adjust the height on You're leaning over to color this shit is some bullshit
But like I said earlier, I appreciate you guys taking your time to click on my dumb stream and see what dumb shit I'm going to be doing. Because you definitely have options of what you're going to do tonight. Who you're going to watch. And you chose to spend a little bit of time with me. And I absolutely appreciate that. Because time is one of the only commodities that you never get back. So if you're one of my normal people that, uh, just clicked on and wondering what the fuck is going on tonight. Taking a break from the games tonight. Doing something a little different. The games will be back with the next stream. Just want to do something different from time to time. Feel like you get pigeonholed into uh, not being able to have that freedoms to do whatever you want. And that's something I can't stand. I'm used to be such a spur of the moment person. But for many years, I wasn't able to do that. Unless the spur of the moment was going to the fucking hospital. And that shit was not fun. And that's something I gotta fix. I need to say yes when I used to say no all the time. And that's incredibly difficult for me. Well, we've been at this close to an hour tonight. I appreciate you guys that have clicked on this and hung out for a little bit. If you enjoy this or want to see what other random shit happens, you know what to do. But in any case, I love you all. I remember you were all important. You were all valuable and you were all loved. Bye.